<coughs> sorry back again and today's video um i'm dealing with a series called the last time we took a dump you understand like with btc and um that was around 2018 <coughs> so in 2017 we picked a 700 dollars sorry yeah of course around january then we picked a 20,000 within a space of 11 months so that was when I was new to crypto, not necessarily new to crypto, but um, that was when I was new to trading, basically understanding how it works and um, following the charts and didn't know much. But I time I didn't have market cipher, so I was just using um, YouTube and news and stuff like that as my reference data of um, decision making. You understand? So it was hard for me because I, it was hard for me to literally believe in what someone is saying. It's like, well, it's going up. So by that was hard for me back in those days. So I. I literally more or less like stumbled on videos that were talking about Bitcoin going up and basic technical analysis. Not I don't respect technical analysis, but I, you know, to each their own, everybody has their way of making stuff happen for them. <laughs> you know, so I'm, I'm not trying to disparage on people who are into TA. We have very good guys in TA, like Jacob Canfield, stuff like that. So, but um, I need a simplified script that will help me navigate my way. So, Today's video, I'm just going back on what happened in 2017 slash 2018 because um, I, I still remember it like clockwork. It's, it's, it's like anytime I talk about Bitcoin, I talk about 2017 and 2018 because in 2017, I saw what we call one of the bullish runs of Bitcoin. We moved from $700 to $20,000. So you can see from this chart that $700 to 20000 within a space of, let's say, 11 months. So it's from $700 true to twenty thousand, so that was the overbought region you understand like in market side where you can realize this is the overbought price has now reached a point where it's not reflecting its true nature it's been overbought so this is the highest level that price could probably reach and you could see market cipher is showing you know the overbought region so this is the overbought once you cross the 60 line so what happened was there was a dumping going on and uh, of course i mean people who took the long to get profits at the top now they are of, of course they are taking their um their profit so obviously it's a demand and supply if a lot of people are selling what happens to price price goes down so a lot of them were selling at profits and you could see momentum was dropping then we started heading towards the negative territories look at price sorry look at money liquid was also descending into the negative territories descending 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 then we entered into the negative territories i'm using the daily time frame so basically as a very huge significant time frame then momentum started sinking into the negative territories it's because momentum is a force you understand it always pushes and goes down you understand momentum is built from the 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 downwards then goes upwards it builds from upwards then drops down you understand so it only drops of course momentum always drop is normal that's how momentum works so let's see how money flow was also liking around so in january of 2018 look at something here there's my vertical line january of 2018 you could see money in the negative territories and it's, it's an evidence because a lot of people are selling and make no mistake it's a demand and supply if people are selling price goes down if people are buying price goes up so liquid shows you that people are selling so liquidity liquidity is in the negative territories and um i want to ask to track how long it took for liquidity to be in the negative territories and make no mistake i think 2020 was the happen right so 2018 was the bearish years in crypto so we are tracking up to 2019 and 2020 then after COVID and what happened to COVID, and after COVID, what happened to having and what what's going to happen again because even though the past is not like the present you can still infer from the past and make decisions out of it there's nothing wrong with you going back into the past and drawing certain things from the past and trying to make um inferences from the past and probably decide on what's going to happen in the future there's nothing wrong with it a lot of people do it but i'm using uh, marker cipher to help me navigate my way around so that you probably understand what i'm trying to do. so in January of 2018, we were dip, 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 dip in the negative territories. You could see money was in the negative territories, lacking. And momentum will try and go up. Of course, that's momentum for you. Goes up, comes down, goes up, then boom. But when you see when momentum drops into the negative, it's like it's a huge drop. There's a big drop. And then this is what's happening in 2018. 
it was a huge I, I still remember 2018 was like very bearish a lot of crypto projects were dying off left right center all these guys who promised you that they were going to change the world blah 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 they were dying off because the market dumped on them and probably most of them never expected it so their holdings were just shrinking and they have to pay developers have to yeah there's a like it's when you don't plan ahead all these things happen and um so evidently uh, most of these experimental blockchains went into haywire we never heard from them you know it's like we couldn't do it of course 90 percent of all companies are going to zero it's normal it happened to enron happened to it's just normal so let's that's what happened momentum builds up again goes up up then comes down you can see money try coming to the negative sorry the positive third trees mm, came down a little bit because liquidity is shrinking it's, it's not as powerful that it used to be in 2017 so so you can see momentum was always in the negative a lot spent a lot of time in the negative in the negative money also came into the negative so it's like we tried all the time to go up but it couldn't so in the year of 2018 you could say we spent most time in the bearish years so in the bearish regions or in the ne negative regions and again money started heading to the positive territories around september again September goes up and comes down, goes up in the positive territories again, then goes down to the negative territories. But see, see the dump. Boom, 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 boom. This is a huge, this is a huge dump. Let's see what happens to price. This is this is a huge dump because price normally responds to the very direction of these oxalators. You can see our red X, yellow X, sorry, these are manipulations sign, manipulation, manipulation 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 you understand all these are manipulation so what happened was sorry what happened was 2018 if you follow the market well like i did religiously you could realize that it wasn't good for crypto like bitcoin was down <laughs> it was like you don't have to talk about bitcoin to anybody's like i lost i lost but it was of a good reason because it's always going to go up so you could see in 2018 that was a huge spike in the negative territories sorry i'm um, sorry i wouldn't say spike a huge downtrend in the negative territories more than in the positive territories you can see money is always in the negative territories always in the negative territories and um that's why i like market cipher makes it easier for you to understand so let's see in january february 2019 february 2019 let's start from here uh, money started entering again momentum started heading up going up pa, 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 now it comes down there you can see money is now building you feel money is now building once you see money building like that you can see like wow money is building it's building it's building it's building it wasn't a huge bullish one but I was I, I, at least was building throughout the year um, the months of January to let's say from January 28 2019 to let's say August. That's a huge day. Uh, sorry, huge. Um, 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 from January through to August 2019, you could feel money was in the positive territories a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like money was in the positive territories a lot. So that's easier for you to know that money is basically being pumped into the assets hugely. So we manipulate the markets a little bit. We put fear into the people, they sell, we buy, the time they are selling, we buy, then we pump again, you understand? Pump, 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 you pump for almost like eight months. And now you start selling on them, you understand? Because they always come back. It's like, it's going up, let's buy, you understand? So they buy at the top, again, they don't land. Then they lose, it comes down again, you understand? Comes down, comes down. You see my knees now in the negative territory, so you could feel the whole of october november december people didn't take advantage then again we started going up in 2020 so what happened to COVID? i think that was around february COVID months february march you could see damping here so what am i trying to say um it's a cycle basically it's a cycle and market cipher makes it far much more easier for you to understand the cycles of um bitcoin this has always been going corrected every asset gets corrected all the time and um it's normal just that um the script that i'm using is called market cipher market cipher is by far the best trading script out there it's a well-structured company owned by <coughs> crypto phase and his brother flopping group uh, i used to be a server moderator and also a consultant 
um they do have a discord as well you can also book an appointment with um almost the well all the third and veteran traders in the world i can tell you for a fact these guys are hell of a good guys you didn't they, they know their stuff so um and all of them are using my consent so it's a simplified script it makes it far much more easier for you guys to make money easy money once you understand your strategies and um, i do also have a discord and um if you want to learn i'm not i I'm, I'm more or less in need of beginners people don't know much about trading so that is how it works <clears throat> it takes time people it takes a lot of time to understand how market cipher works you know if you, if you give yourself time it will work for you if you don't it wouldn't it, you know you use like i tried it and work like bro try harder you understand that's how it works so um there's an overview on the cycles of bitcoin and bearish bearish times and stuff like that so until then, have a nice time, people. Peace.